This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in South Richmond. Today we're going to take a look at a four-bedroom, three-full-bath home. This beautiful home is situated here on almost two acres, and we are in Richmond off the Cherokee Road corridor. Uh, as you can see, we've got a beautiful, beautiful site here, uh, heavily wooded. Uh, you've got plenty of privacy here. When people think of the city, uh, typically they will stereotype real estate and think that you're going to be right next to someone in a single family uh, semi-detached home or a row home or a condo and uh, you are actually in the city of richmond right now so great great location uh, we've got a wooded lot uh, we don't have a whole lot of grass here uh, with the exception of the front yard so if you're not a big fan of cutting a whole lot of grass you don't have to do so here uh, just a tremendous amount of privacy and tranquility here on this lot we do have an attached storage building here this is kind of nice because you got plenty of space it's right here attached to the house you don't have to worry about trying to put a, a storage building uh, here on the property so that is a great great feature uh, we are going to go in the front door there's a side door i'm going to point that out to you that's off of one of our family rooms uh, this is a rehab the renovator on this one we've seen their work before they did a fabulous job uh, i know that some of my viewers are not huge huge fans of open concept floor plans so i wanted to bring this to you give you a little variety we do have a nice porch here you could put a whole bunch of rocking chairs out on the front down at the end of the house we will see our screened porch that's a nice way to enjoy this lot as well okay coming in we've got a nice entrance way here at the foyer uh, to the right is going to be a coat closet. Our kitchen is going to be here to our right as well. We're going to go through the kitchen. Uh, we do have three fireplaces in this house, so not many homes can boast about that. Great fireplace right here in the kitchen. Beautiful wood floors. You've got nice open space here in the kitchen. Uh, they actually put a dinette right there. Wood floors, granite countertop. Nice glass backsplash we can see in place there, double bowl sink. Nice range hood and stainless steel appliances as well. Your refrigerator, we go right there in the middle of the frame and then some additional counter space there to the left. That's gonna be our formal dining room straight ahead. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you our screen porch. Look at this split door here. This is kind of neat. You can close the bottom half and then as he's cooking dinner, he can just pass it through as the ladies enjoy a nice chat out here in the screen porch. We do have a door there so you can come in from the front as well. All right, I'm going to pop back. I'm going to show you the backyard here from this side really quick so you get a good idea. Uh, this is all brick construction. You can see all the way across that big brick uh, we've got a little bit of siding back there, but the vast majority of this home is brick. There is a deck uh, back there as well. So you do have kind of b best of both worlds with the screen porch and a traditional deck. Okay, we're going to transition into our dining room. And uh, one of the things I really like about this floor plan is you get a lot of common space. Uh, this is going to be our probably our more formal living room here uh, it gives us the ability if you've got uh, a family where you've got a number of people that will come in and congregate or you just kind of want to have uh, separate spaces this is a great great floor plan uh, the only reason that caves are so popular nowadays is because the gentlemen usually get on the ladies nerves and uh, you guys just need your own little space uh, to kind of gather your thoughts and you don't want to see or hear from him and this floor plan would allow that of course you could have your own space and don't really have to deal with them all right another fireplace right there in the corner this of course is going to be the staircase going out to the parking area so you don't have to come in and out of the front door save you a few steps there this home does have a new gas furnace new water heater that's right there in front of us your washer and dryer will go over there in the corner 
uh, upgraded electrical has already been done. Now, I wanted to point this out. Every time I talk about gas furnace, I talk about a metal flue. These high efficiency gas furnaces, these two flues are actually PVC. They will go up across this ceiling and out the house. That's our ventilation. So if you see these pipes, these plastic pipes sticking out the side, that's often a telltale sign that the home has gas furnace. And that's where it terminates right there. Just to give you a little heads up. Okay, we're gonna go on back through. We do have one bedroom that's down here on the first floor. And we also have a three quarter bath as well. This particular bedroom does not have a closet. So uh, it would also double as a nice office. Uh, an appraiser may or may not actually count it as a bedroom. We've chatted about that before on previous videos. This is a really nice renovated. Uh, I said it was a three quarter bath. This is actually a full bath. We've got a full blown tub and shower. They did a really neat job here with this tile. I like the modern look and the color scheme that they brought in. It's just a really clean looking bathroom. Our linen closet right there. Okay, we're going to transition. We've got a couple more closets. That's a utility closet. This one is another closet. And then we got two more doors there. So plenty of storage down here on this level. Okay, we're gonna pop upstairs to our bedroom level. Once again, we've got these beautifully refinished wood floors. Here to our right, this is kind of neat because we have some unfinished space. Uh, they've got a little light on, but this is uh, this flooring all the way through. So there's just a lot of storage space there. I've seen some people that have gone ahead and finished that space, but I don't think we have quite the headroom that would be needed in this case to make that work. This is gonna be our hall bath, nicely appointed. We see the same basic style here in the tub shower area. Uh, the colors are a little different, but uh, I'm really loving this gray and white color scheme. Oh, sometimes, sometimes the doors stick a little bit and um, instead of struggling and huffing and puffing trying to open it, I'm gonna save that for another video. Okay, we've got a really good size closet there. Here to our left is gonna be bedroom number two. These bedrooms are really, really good size. When you start getting into this size home, they have a lot more flexibility to go ahead and put in adult size bedrooms and they don't have to really cut corners and try to do little 10 by 10 bedrooms. Uh, it's gonna be bedroom number three. Nice ceiling fan, good light flows into this one as well. Let's take a peek in this closet. Okay, good size closet. That's approximately uh, five feet across or so and transitioning now into our master. Uh, really good master here. Uh, our closet is there straight ahead. They actually did a little bit of compartmentalization here in the closet just to maximize that space. And fortunately, we do have a full master bath. If you remember from previous videos, homes built in this time frame they didn't really do big big masters if you had a master bath at all so it's really nice to have an older home with a nice master bath okay i think that's going to do it for this beautiful home if you have any questions about this or any other home in the market my name is max williams it would be my honor to help please be sure to comment like and subscribe if you'd be kind enough i love love hearing from you and um, if there's anything you'd like to see in particular in future videos, let me know, give me some feedback. I try to mix it up a little bit and give you a little variety, but uh, what I think is important, you may not think is important at all, so let me know. 804-402-7788, thanks so, so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.